Yeah, baby, Josh here with the Prop Productions back in UE4 with a 34th material tutorial, and we're going to make a checkerboard. We're going to make a checkerboard because I've had a lot of people ask me how to make a checkerboard, and I don't know why. If you don't know how to make one in a 2D program like GIMP or Photoshop or whatever else, some sort of art pick next stuff, there's a really, really quick way to make it in here. So this is a super easy tutorial, but we're going to be doing requests for a couple weeks, guys. I've se or a couple weeks. I have several requests, and we're going to do this. This is the easiest one, so I'm going to knock it out real fast. A couple minutes, real quick tutorial. But the point is, I'm going to take this plane and turn it into a checkerboard style pattern with a little bit of math. And it's actually super simple. And it's a little trick. I might show you guys a couple things. So what we're going to do, since I'm already in the DP folder, I think. I better drag this window. Drag a window. I'm in there. I may see the little. I'm a, okay. Right click material. I'm going to see. A C for checkers, bro, as we'll make some checkers. Now, the point is, we're just, like, it's plain, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and drag it on there, snap. And it's got a little checkerboard pattern. We're done. Good job, guys. Thanks for watching. Jo okay, I'm just playing. What we're going to do is we're going to make our own checkerboard pattern based off of the texture coordinate. And again, this is literally a super simple tutorial. And if you don't know how to do it in 2D and you want to just kind of learn a little something about texture coordinates and how the UVs can can do different things, check this out. I'm going to show you a couple things. Now, now, while we're in here, let's go ahead and grab what we need, bro, which is that texture coordinate. Now, one, the first things first, if you don't know how to spell stuff right, that's not my problem. But it's, you know, texture coordinate is what you need. And I'm bad at spelling, so so forgive me. Now, now let's open this window up. Texture coordinate, okay? And we, we got it right here. And if you look at it, it's got a, got a couple things going on, right? Well, I want to show you a little something. We're going to hold M, right? And we're going to get a little, oh, not N, because you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a normalized, bro. Get, hold M, get a multiply node. Hold the number one. And let's, 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 let's put a number in there, okay? Let's, let's put the number four in there for now. And I'm going to show you what a number four does. Now, with, oh, that's, that, 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 that's not it, bro. Make sure it's a number four. You know what I'm saying? I'm spelling all kind of stuff wrong today. I'm not playing around. Oh, I see. My num lock was on, bro. I see the problem. The point is, now I want you to look at this now. You always drop the window so you can see what's going on. You see this little line here? You see this little line right here, right here? It's actually bringing more of the yellow up and more of that out there. Now, what you can do is you can floor this value. And this is just me showing you some stuff. So if you drag a line, type in the word floor. Okay, well, floor. Oh, wait, 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 floor. There you go. And you look here. You'll see that it's kind of showing you. And flooring is the opposite of ceiling. It's taking anything that's zero or, or over, uh, uh, under one and bringing it down to zero and everything. It's the other value up to one or blah, 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 whatever you want to talk about. But the point is you've got this kind of look, okay? Now, if I go back here and change this number to like A2, I'll see that. Okay, cool. You see it set it to a six. Do all that kind of stuff. Set it to a 12. Okay, set it to a two again. I'm going to set it back to four. Now watch this. We multiplied it by four and floored it, and then I'm going to divide it by four. So let's right click. Let's add a divide node. And th this is just me showing you some cool stuff here. And let's divide it by whatever the same number is here. You want to divide it by whatever the same number is here. So just plug that in like this. Okay, and watch what it does. Okay, you see what's going on there? Nice. You know what I'm saying? You can put a little eight here. And you'll see that it does it like that. You put a little 2. It makes that little madness right there. 15. That says 25, whatever. But you can see what's going on there. You can do a lot of, you can really start separating the tiles. You can make like a tile kind of base thing. And that's just kind of a little trick if you guys that don't know. And then uh, you can keep going. It, it gets really interesting. But that's not even what we're going to do. So delete all that, bro. <laughs> delete all of it. Okay? All of it. You don't need it. What we want to do is we want to take this bad baby. Now watch what I do. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to type in the word sign, bro. I'm going to type in the word, I'm going to type in the word sign. Okay, we got a little sign here. I want you to look at that. Look at that bad baby. Look what it did. It did a little madness. It did a little madness for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to mask out. You can type in the word mask and get two of them. Get two masks. Okay. Now, the reason we want two masks, and we're going to drop the drop them down so you can see what's going on. We want two masks because we want the red channel and the green channel. You see how the green channel is going this way and the red channel is going this way, which means if we click on this mask and only have the red channel, you'll just see this. And we go down here, we only get the green channel. We'll only see this bar. Nice. So we have these two bars. Now, what's cool is if we compare them, the, you'll, you'll notice that the one spot, the top left-hand corner, is the same. Everything else is the difference. So we can compare them. We can type in a little, get a little, get a little dot. Okay, get the dot, bro. Plug it in, and now you got yourself a little checker bird. A little checker bird. You know what I'm saying? Now check this out. This is where get, things get interesting. If you click on the sign, you can kind of do a little, little madness right here. The number is set to one. This number is going to decide how many of these little squares we create. So if I set this, cut it in half, 0.5. 0.5, baby. Oh, ho, ho. don't be scared. Now, if you set it to two, you're probably not going to get what you want, but you are going to get kind of a cool little figure there. You know what I'm saying? Kind of because it's putting these two figures together and comparing them, and you're making kind of like a box. But the point is, let's go back. Set it to one. Set it to 0.5. Cut that in half. 0.5. You got to keep cutting it in half to 0.25, right? 0.125, uh, 0.0625, 0. 0.3. I'm not doing it, but you see what's going on there. We all got all kind of checkers. Let's set it back to 0.25. 
No, 0.5. You know what I'm talking about? This is at 0.5, bro. Now, the only issue here is that some of those white boxes aren't exactly completely white. Well, we can know how to do We know how to fix that. We were flooring earlier. Let's just get a little seal, bro. A little seal action. Just seal it. Boom. It's going to take everything that's not zero. Anything that's just barely over zero and make it white. Or make it one. Which, you know, zero is black. White is one. And I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, know, I don't know the rest. I don't know the rest, okay? And obviously, there's our checkerboard pattern. So now we can hold the letter L, right? Grab, grab ourselves a, grab ourselves a, grab ourselves a, a, a lerp. You know what I'm saying? Like a little lerp action and plug that in there. Now, obviously zero is, and we can go ahead and open it up here. You know what I'm saying? And this is still the same. The reason it's still the same, we can plug it in the base collar and it'll be all over our ball because I like the ball. We can do a little plane or a box, but whatever I like the ball. The point is we, 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 A is black. We want it to be black, but B is the white and we actually want it to be red. So we actually only need one collar and you can do it like that. Make that red, just like that by holding the number three, plug in a vector, boom, it's red and snap and we can save it. And that's it. We're literally done. That's how fast we created a checkerboard pattern. And again, it's easier to do in other programs. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, there you go. Boom. Now, if you know anything about a checkerboard, it's eight by eight. If I'm correct, and I could be wrong about that too, I'd have to make a take another, take a little gander, take a little gander at it. But 0.25 will probably solve that problem. Save it. Go to the sign, set to 0.25. It, 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 it multiplies that. And then boom, we got ourselves a little checkerboard. <laughs> you got a little checkerboard, and then we walk around on, on our little checkerboard. So there you go. But we got a checkerboard. Guys, that's it. I mean, really simple stuff. I had two or three different people ask about this. They were like, hey, is there any make a tiling based, checkerboard based, chess based kind of um, thing with materials? You know what I'm saying? They were talking about 2D stuff. But guys, that's literally it. We're going to be doing some requests. So if you have any, I need you to hit me up in the Facebook page. The link is always in the description of every video. Our Facebook, shoot me a message on there, the Deprive Productions Facebook page. Any requests you guys have, we are going to try to cover them. Anything. Anything we can, we will do. So shoot it at me if you have any questions about anything. And again, I apologize. We haven't done any Minecraft stuff lately, but I mean, it's just, it's hard to get back into it because we have so many things going on. But guys, again, thanks for watching. Josh here with the Pro Productions. Love you, Missy. I hope it's uh, taught you a little something. Again, I know it's super simple stuff, but maybe it taught you a little trick about how you can use those texture coordinates to do some neat stuff. You know what I mean? A little neat, a little neat action, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and all you got to, oh God, oh God. But the thing is, you know, all you have to do is, you know, just, just toy around with it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any requests. I'm going to try to cover them over the next two to three weeks. Like I said, anything you guys need, we're going to try to help you do it. You know I'm saying we're gonna try to help you get it done no matter how complicated unless it's something insane like if you want me to make you a tsunami or something I can't do that and I'm sorry I can't do a tsunami I don't know how to make one I don't know how to do it I can't and I'm sorry and I love you and shut up okay but I'll be back I'll be back in a couple days with another tour I got another request so I'm gonna throw another one out on Saturday Saturday morning so just in a couple days I'll see you in a couple days Saturday or Sunday we'll have another one but guys again real simple stuff thanks for watching if you have any questions holler at me subscribe to the channel almost 2200 subscribers you guys are amazing we're having a blast man all kinds of cool stuff let me know if I can help hit me up peace